Kings from Kauai. We just made it, literally got ready, and we're gonna go head out right now, but I wanted to say hi to you. I'm so excited we're here for six days, and it's literally stunning. That's the ocean, and this is our little pond. I'm here with Bay. <laughs> oh, look at the slide too. I know. Definitely going down that. Plan is that we're gonna go get some drinks and some abs because we're kind of hungry. We literally just got off the flight, and we'll see where the night takes us. We literally have no plans for tonight. Let's go. Hawaii, baby! Here's my fit of the night. Kind of just a simple, casual, cutesy dress. Since I literally don't know what we're doing, I don't want to bring out my cutest dress. But I also have these heels that I'm obsessed with because they're so comfy to walk in. That looks so See? pale. Yeah, you need more self-tanner. <laughs> Comment down below, do you think it's weird for boys to self-tan? I don't. I know many men that self-tan. <laughs> Look at this beauty! First drink of the trip. JD is the sweetest little boy who planned this whole trip himself with a few assistance of me. But... Unless you have stuff planned for the third. I have a lot of ideas for us. Garlic parmesan tater tots and fried shrimp. Oh, dude, look. Literally, our flight attendants from the flight are here are at the <laughs> bar right now. That's so funny. She's in her casual way. I know. Period. And she was, like, so nice to she us. She was so nice. What'd she say? She said you had, like, the prettiest smile. Yeah. And then thought you were 22 instead of 21. Uh-huh. We are up bright and early today because we literally went to bed at 7.30. <laughs> I was so tired. But we are heading off to Sunrise Yoga. Um, I have no idea where it is. We're like lost in the lobby, but it's almost 7 o'clock. And we're gonna make it there and I'm excited. Okay, we just made it. Are you excited? Yeah. stay out for the rest of the day oh that was good on my part oh yeah dude why does the blood rush my head so fast we were just talking about yoga and i was like damn that feels just so long to you yeah it was like but it, honestly, it felt like two hours but i knew it was an yeah. hour because that's what the thing said but like it felt like it was like two hours long but i feel like we don't do enough like whenever you work out it's just like core but uh, uh, yeah. uh. it's not like holding still and like literally we were like shaking our legs. We're like stretching like just, yeah. I feel like, I feel like yoga. It's so good to do when you're it's old better. too. We made it to breakfast, we're sitting outside right now. Got a bunch of fresh fruit, some banana bread, scrambled eggs, tater tots, and like some monkey bread type of situation. Dude, I'm thriving. The birds chirping, like it's so beautiful out. Ah, the sun. It is 11 o'clock right now. We're gonna go get massages. I'm so excited because we're doing an exfoliation and then a like seaweed wrap. Never got that done to me before, so I'm so excited. This spa is like so relaxing. We're gonna go in the sauna first and then go get our massage. We get some of these awesome slippers. Now I'm just gonna put the rest of my stuff in these lockers. We got a free razor and a tampon. Holy freaking crap. That was amazing. They put oil all of my hair, I'm not kidding, when I got it, my hair was drenching wet, but it felt so nice. So I went to the sauna after, just showered it out. Oh, amazing. Just got back from the massage. We're about to go to the pool. I'm wearing my cute Skims see-through pants and this adorable like gingham pink swimsuit. Oh, Mises swimwear. Look how cute his purple pants are. H&M. Yeah, we're about to go to the pool right now, so I'm putting on some sunscreen. This face. Yeah. Wow. I put a lot on my hand. I put this on this morning. It's just the Benetint on my lips and my cheeks, and I thought it was the cutest little glow ever. Boop, boop. Dab it out. My turn. We found these at the gas station in. Gas station. Gift shop. That's what oh. I meant. Kona. Shout out Jalen Zog. <laughs> Kona spiked island seltzer in fruit punch. Mmm. It just tastes like an IPA. Yeah. No. This is not for. Dude, every seltzer here that claims it's like a seltzer is literally just an IPA. Dude, it doesn't even taste like fruit punch or mm -hmm. tropical punch. I taste a little after hint of it. Dude, I could I could get behind these. Look at my new toe I got. Aloha. 
pack my beach bag with me. This is my sunscreen bag. I have a lot of good sunscreens in there. I'm gonna bring a hat because I wanna read and reading without a hat is tragic. I'm gonna bring this book. Shout out Jalen for letting me borrow it. It is called The Marrow Thieves. It's basically about these Native Americans that are the only one left in the world that are able to dream and they're getting captured to suck out their blood marrow. Um, it's pretty fire so far. Well, actually, I would say it's pretty mid so far, but I'm only 50 pages in. <coughs> Sunglasses, G7X for pictures, my wallet, chopstick, phone. What the fuck is that? Oh my God, what is that? What the hell is on my adapter, you guys? It's like waxy. I think it's gum. Is it waxy? The best sunscreen. Oh yeah. We are getting ready right now for some din din. We were just sitting at the pool for a long time. It was honestly so good. Like there wasn't too much sun, but every time the sun came out, I was like, like so ready for it. Anyways, we're just gonna go get some dinner at the hotel here, but it's so good. So I'm very excited. We haven't got dinner here yet. Side note, that oil from the massage stayed in my hair for so long. I legit, almost had a mental breakdown <laughs> because I could not get it out. I had showered my hair twice and I was drying it and I was like, why is it not drying? It still feels oily. And literally I was like freaking out to James and he was like, oh my God, literally calm down. So he took me in the shower. I was like sitting on my hands and knees and he was like washing out my hair. But then um, I also made him dry it. <laughs> Dude, I was just so over it. I was so over it, guys. We just had dinner, we split a steak, and we still didn't finish the steak, but on a more important note, the people literally sitting next to us got a sorbet, and they didn't finish it, and literally they were like, hey, you guys, do you guys like want sorbet? And we were like, uh, like, we're fine. They're like, we can't finish ours. Like, do you want the rest of ours? Like, we swear to God, we're not weird. We don't have germs. Like, you can have the rest. And I was like, honestly, I don't even care if you spit on it. I will still eat it. Something about germs, like, I'm not afraid of them from other people. Like, you know what I mean? Like, something about, like, someone eating something. I'm like, okay, I will take the same, but you know, I'll be fine. Good morning. We just ordered some avocado toast. I hate when you order avocado toast and they don't mash it. I'm like, we just drove over to Poipu and we're at this cabana bar and grill. It is actually the cutest place ever. We are eating just a little bit of an appetizer right now and some drinks. Oh my god, these pot stickers are so bomb. Like look at all this sauce on them. Yum. Hey, thank you. We just got some lunch. This looks so good. Oh, look at that. With the avocado. Ooh. So we've actually just been hanging out here for a while. We tried to go to Popu Beach, but honestly, like it wasn't like the vibe. There were so many people. And Poi Poo. Poi Poo. That's right. Why did I? We'll run that back and wait. <laughs> I'm just more of a pool girl, you know? Like, I'm just a pool girl in, in and out, in and out. Tourist mode. I have a freaking strap on my camera because we're about to jump out of a helicopter. Just kidding. But we'll be up in a helicopter with the doors off and it said like you needed a strap if you're gonna bring a camera. So I literally feel like my mom in like the early 2000s when she was like taking pictures of us non-stop to wear in her scrapbook. This is literally what she would wear with a freaking strap and everything. Shout out Lowry. Anyways, let's go get some breakfast and go to the helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. Also, so cute, me and James are matching. Both in purple. You guys see them? Ah! Also, did I mention that we're literally doing this with the doors off? Did I say that? And we have one little seat belt to hold us in. Yeah, like on the waist, not even like up top. Yeah, on the which edge. is really shocking.
so much freaking fun. I'm not gonna lie, I was so goddamn scared the first 20 minutes, but then after that, it kind of like calmed down. The one thing that I was the most scared about was for some reason, like the pilot having a heart attack because he was like so old. And I was like, why are you flying me? I'm kind of scared. He was a pretty funny guy, so I'll give him that. Anyways, we're gonna go get some tacos right now and then go to the beach after. I'm going for a very blue look today, so I wanted to do some fun hairstyles. It's also pretty darn windy, like just everywhere in Hawaii, so I really wanna do like a half up, half down slick back situation. I brought my Cura Care Styling Wax, thank God, because I love traveling with it. I'm gonna put a little bit in before I put my ponytail. I love this stuff because of consistency. I feel like I've tried many wax sticks before and they're always too freaking hard and I can barely get any wax out. See all that good wax? Then we just rub it in perfectly. Like it's literally so nice and slick and I won't have to worry about the annoying wind that is here 24 seven, blowing my hair all over. It also doesn't have a smell, which is really nice. That looks so nice and it's like, wait, by the way, it looks so beautifully shiny right now. Skin is popping off right now. I'm just gonna take a little bit and get these like tiny flyaways. Go a little bit around town, slick it back. Yeah, this is just the Cura Care Styling Wax Stick. It's the best and I love it for travel because I just throw this in my bag and it's not a big bottle. It also has a flexible hold. So when I'm like going in the ocean, if I take out my hair, it's not gonna be like stuck in place, like it's flexible, which is really nice too. Anyways, I'm just gonna add these little baby clips. I'm going for the blue vibe. I mean, I have a lot of different blues going on here. Definitely do, but it's okay. I think it's fine. Little monochromatic moment, if you will. Slay! Look at the back of my hair. And look at how good that slick is. We just got the tiki tacos. Look how delicious this looks. I got a shrimp taco. We got a little chicken taco. He got two. Do you think you can finish them? Easily. Easily? No doubt. Ooh. That's a lot of food, boy. Oh, fuck! Oh. Mmm. Fresh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Definitely makes up for their shitty service. Yeah. We only lasted 35, 40 minutes, maybe an hour at the beach before we got bored and we were like, all right, let's go. So when we were driving, we saw this shaved ice and I really want to get some. It's so good right now. Wishing wells. I just waited in line for 40 minutes to get this, but I cannot tell you how excited I am to eat it. Oh, it sounds so good. And there's ice cream in the middle, macadamia nut ice cream. Mm. I needed this. My first souvenir I got here is this cute windy straw. I thought it was the cutest thing ever and something that I'll actually use, so we love that. Now we're heading back to Z Resort. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're at dinner. I haven't vlogged in a while because I was getting rushed. We're scared. Um, I had to like quickly get ready and then we came to dinner and we're at this really nice like Italian place. It's called Cafe Porto. Italian? Is it not Italian? 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 You like I Italian? Italian? Kind of I weird. think you like emphasize the I. I think I always say like that though. I don't think I've ever noticed on that. Maybe we haven't gone somewhere Italian together. No, we definitely have. You're just in company. <laughs> Drinking some wine that tastes like literally such cheap wine and it was twelve dollars a glass. It tastes like barefoot. Literally. It's like cheap barefoot. We already started getting some apps, got some caprese without the basil. For some reason, they didn't feel like adding it, but it's honestly really fire. I don't want to show those fat sticks. Oh, dude, now you have to. <laughs> and then we got some corn dog looking things <laughs> that I'm not a fan of. I'm wearing my favorite outfit, yeah, on this trip, so I really want to get a good picture. We are up bright and early this morning. We have to get about 5 a.m. to go snorkeling. It's almost 7 now, but we're gonna go do an excursion. Yeah. It's basically just like they're gonna take a snorkeling for like six hours going around like a little boat. I don't know, but I really have to go poop. I'm sure they have a bathroom in like the check-in place. So, it's freezing, it's raining, and we have to go on a boat like this, and I'm really scared that the whole time I'm gonna be like... Alright kids, if you are close, <laughs> um, yeah, you're younger, you guys... Oh my God, Boat 
like it was so cold the whole way there we were sitting in the back we got like the worst seats there was like no sun and we had to have like two rain jackets on we had a sweatshirt sweatpants on um and then it warmed up like halfway through we were just kind of doing like literally tours of like the island and like the beaches we both kind of thought it was going to be more like snorkeling-esque James did go out and see the little fishies. I couldn't because I was literally freezing and I'm like, I cannot get into this water right now. I wanted to so bad, but I was like, I physically can't. Yeah, people were like yakking because the, they were seasick. It was kind of gross. It's one o'clock right now and we're gonna go back to our resort. I'm so hungry, so we're gonna get some food and lay out by the pool. All right, let's look at how matted my hair is from the boat. After, after we got off the boat, I tried laying out at our pool for like an hour. Actually, I probably the other for like two hours. But anyway, it was raining on me and I literally had like a policeman come up to me and was like, do you want me to move this umbrella for you? Because I was literally sitting in the direct rain and I was like so cold. So then I laid out there for a little bit, but then I got sick of that. So then we just came back up to the room and just been chilling in the room. But we're going to get ready right now and just go get some dinner. This is our last full day, so it's really sad. I wish we could stay another day and like lay out in the sun. Ew, my hair hair looks disgusting. Part this. Then I'm gonna make it more perfect using the cure care stuff that I was talking about earlier. That literally held in all day. Like for real, this stuff is like military grade. <laughs> Hello. What's up? Rep and gray cloud. Always. Yeah, your face is pretty red. Dude, I told but you. But it looks good. You know, like it looks good when you come back from vacation, you get a little Dude, red in your face. I was gonna say, do you have any like moisturizer? Yeah. Hair I stuff. didn't even bring like perfume. And a razor. Oh, my pussy. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> my vagina's hairy. Look at that vlog setup. We are at dinner right now. We walked around some of the little tours to shops and I got this because I was absolutely freezing and I just was like honestly fuck the outfit even though it's like one of my favorite outfits. I'm too cold. And we're sitting outside. Look how cute this little tray is. I want to take it home and steal it. Uh you're coming home with me? Got two rolls. Look at that. Fish or anything from the sea. Anything from the sea. It's our last day here, which is so sad. Like, I literally want to extend the trip because today is so sunny, of course. I just laid out for like an hour to get like the last bits of sun, but we're heading out in the next 30 minutes and then heading back to Phoenix. I decided I didn't get enough sun, so I'm literally going to lay out in Arizona all day Sunday. <laughs> it just feels so good to lay out and I'm so happy. It's like spring and almost summer so I can have pool days again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next week for another one. Comment the fish emoji if you're still watching. Peace and love.